Brentford won, Wolves won. Um, a bit more positive this week. I mean, he couldn't have got any worse after last week. Um, but yeah, a, a lot more positive, but still a lot to be said for really. Still a lot they can improve on. I thought, I thought defensively, Wolves grew into the game. There was a couple of hairy moments, but you, you, you are going to get that. I thought Collins was absolutely excellent. I know he got skinned one on one, but apart from that, a lot better than last week. Looked like they've, they've shored up a, a little bit. Um, but in the same breath, Brentford didn't really offer that much apart from a load of long balls, which is, which is what they do anyway. Um, but Kilman and Collins, that's, that's their bread and butter, really. That's, the, you know, they can sit there and defend that all day. Um, I thought Bueno was was excellent too as a, as an outlet defensively did, did really well and you know he's he's thrown in probably two of the best fullback performances I've seen from a Wolves player in in probably a year or so and you know it's not a high bar but it's still it's, it's still encouraging from, a, from from the young lad. Um, I thought Traore grew into the game. Bubakar first half he was he was all over the place. He's he's so raw. Um, you know, losing the ball and going like steaming up the pitch, leaving leaving massive gaps open. But in the second half, I felt like he grew into the game and was really putting himself about and making a real impression. Um, Adama as well was was an I don't know if he's still carrying or not because he doesn't look like he's going. He's giving it a hundred percent in terms of his sprints. I don't know if his his hamstring still playing him up, but he doesn't look as quick as he used to. Um, but everything was really going for, going through Pedent. As it usually does, and I know it causes a lot of frustration with some fans and me included, because he he doesn't do the basic stuff well. Um, but as pretty much everything went through him today. And he's got a black eye for his, he's got a black eye for his trouble. And there's a lot of things he could have done better. But if we were going to score, it looked like he would be included in in, in the build up, um, which he wasn't. Um, but never never as his finish is um, is outstanding. You can see he's a cut above anybody else. Uh, in 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 that Wolves team, it's it's a nice uh, a nice um, dummy as well from Troy. He must have heard the shout, and it's a it's an accomplished to finish, and you'd expect nothing else from from the skipper. I think Brentford's goal. I know I've gone on a bit of a tangent, but you know you got Kilman's and Kilman and, and Samedo are just you're not free, got free souls at the ball there. You take one in the head, then you know the, it happens, but you're going to get a free kick. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's. It's a well-earned point, but Brentford didn't really do much, and I felt like we could have put the pressure on a lot more. But it's there's a few, few more chances created a bit more, but it's a team just devoid of confidence, and it's a team now without a, a recognised striker until um, after the World Cup, which, as um, as someone of Costa's experience, it's unacceptable. It's completely unacceptable. It's petulant. It's childish, and he needs to grow up. That's all he did today was put himself about. He's like a pantomime villain, and you know we do we all love it. We find it hilarious, but you know, and I, I know he's it's not really his fault that he's not up to speed. But there's all, there's one thing being up to speed, and then there's risking risking a game for the team. And you know we've got three three games now without him because of that stupid head. But especially so late in the game, he should know better. He's pathetic. Um, but a point stops the rot. A load of the players went over to the DOI end as well, which is an improvement. But we're still in deep, deep trouble and we still need a manager and we still need changes above the manager. Today it doesn't change it, it was a little bit better, but still miles off it. I'd been hearing a lot about how terrible and toothless we have been whilst I was away on holiday, but this is the first game since uh, I've been back that I've managed to catch now. And to be fair, um, aside from a really uh, boring, dull and inspiring first half from both teams, actually, really, um, there were some positives to take from that second half performance. Um, I, I think it's pretty clear when Adama doesn't play um, that well that we look pretty toothless in front of goal, and that's uh, the same theme for today. Pedence tried in the second half to get on the ball and make things happen, but um, as well as Diego Costa, to be fair, which um, he ended up ruining his whole well, his whole year essentially with that. Uh, moment of madness at the end, but that's what you expect from Diego Costa, isn't it, really? A um, bit of a disappointment to see Nunes uh, injured. I hope he's okay. Um, still playing him too far up the pitch, but honestly, um, he still needs uh, more time to adapt to the league because we're still not seeing the full potential of him yet, I don't think. Um, Bubakar Traore and Samedo in for, for, um, was, was the right decision, in my opinion, because we're a much better team with those two players in. I thought we were in for a bit of a 
a terrible day when Semedo got booked inside 60 seconds, but um, he had a pretty okay performance for the rest of the match. And Bubakar's getting better with every single performance as well. Um, he was a, was a good a good DM who who broke up play and, and recycled possession. Uh, Neves, are met, again, outstanding today, and I don't know where we'd be without him, to be honest. There's only so many times that you can say that he's everything that a top, top-level club, European-level club, would need in a midfielder. And I, I'm still surprised that he plays for us, because he could have been taken away a couple of years ago now. And he probably will do. Um, and when he goes, we are down shit creek. Because without him, uh, we would be toothless in every area of the pitch. The defence is still not good enough. Uh, Kilman and Collins, uh, their chemistry is not quite perfectly there yet. They keep losing their men offset pieces, and that was pretty evident today. Um, however, all that negative being said, we haven't lost the game, which is the number one thing, is football is a results-based game. And you can perform all you want. Like, yeah, Leicester had four shots last week, and they, but they scored four goals. Um, we didn't lose the game. And we have a point to build on for the, for the last few games before the World Cup. Um, if we can pick up a couple more points and maybe be outside of the relegation zone come the World Cup starting and then get a manager in and everything, I'm not terribly worried about how we'll end this season. Um, I just, I just hope that that we don't lose every game now without a striker because I don't know who's going to play in that spot now that Costas is suspended. So, whether it's Guedes, whether it's Huang, I'd like to see Huang given another go. To be honest, um, we just need to pick up a couple more points. Until then, up the walls. Well, a draw is better than a loss, and I think a loss is what most people were, were uh, expecting today, especially after our dismal efforts against Leicester, um, the fan base, the club, uh, really down at the moment. There's, there's nothing to be, nothing to be happy about. And today was another opportunity to lift spirits somewhat, uh, within the club or within the fan base. And I think to a reason, within reason, uh, Wolves managed to do that today. Um, they showed some fight. They showed some passion, which has been missing for God knows how long. But on this poor run of form, it's been one thing that's, been missing over you know we've shown quality in areas but passion and fight has been lacking hugely so to have that today is a real real positive I think the first half was very poor on both both teams kind of can come away from that first half not learning a huge amount from each other it was very scrappy uh, it looked like a league one or championship fixture um, lots of balls going in the air hoofs upfield panicking at the at the back it just wasn't very high quality and I think going into half time we were lucky to an extent to be in there at nil nil um no team deserved to be leading at the at, at the break I don't think but it was good to not concede within the first half because it gave Steve Davis opportunity to speak to the lads at half time we can come back in the second half and see what we can do that was uh shortly short-lived to, to to an extent when we saw Ben Mee, of all people, with the acrobatic finish, which took a lot of people by surprise, I'm sure. Um, but you can't take anything away from it. It was a great finish. However, there was some real poor defending in there. Nelson Semedo looked, at moments today, shocking, I must say. Um, the way he ducked underneath that ball, he thought he must have seen the high, high foot come in. But... The, the only reason that Ben Mee made any connection was because Nelson Semedo ducked under the ball. Criminal defending for me. But that was kind of cancelled out only a couple of minutes later when Ruben Neves saved us once again with one of his one of his uh, kind of glorious moments from outside the area. Says a lot when Ruben Neves is our top goal scorer for the season on three goals and he plays in a six. But... You know, we'll take goals however they come. They could have gone, gone in off um, Bobby Madley's arse and we would have taken it. But it was a goal that we haven't been able... We haven't seen many goals coming back from behind, um, if any, this season. Uh, which is part of the reason that we've seen these team, this team crumbling over and over and over again. And for once they showed a bit of backbone. The second half was a much better performance. Um... I think having Boubacar Traore in the middle really helped combat that midfielder Brentford. 
Otherwise, I think we would have really struggled. Even though Nunes went off, it gave us more legs that, than we otherwise would have had if you know Joe Hodge was playing, for example. And to have that combative midfielder in there winning the ball low, winning the ball high, was really, really helpful. I mean, he was wasteful at times, hugely wasteful at times, but he's young and it, that, that'll, come with, that'll come with experience. But I think it really helped having, having Trier in there. Uh, finally, I've got to come on to the Costa situation. Um, a minute and a half from time. How, why, why he's getting into a tussle with Ben Mee and then headbutting him, you know, in, in the 96th minute. I mean, we, we have to learn to accept this from Costa, but from the first few games that we've seen him, it looked like he'd really toned down that aggressive nature of his play. He was there, you know, he was always trying and he was always trying to kind of be a handful for defenders, but he'd never shown any of that kind of aggressive side. But to headbutt, when there's about 50 cameras in the stadium, is stupid. It's, it's so, so naive. And now we're not going to see him until the, probably the end of December, which is a shame because now we've lost that focal point. I imagine we'll have to see uh, Guedes up top, which is no bad thing. Hopefully he can find a run of form in the few games that he's going to start. Um, but yeah, it's a, po a more positive performance and we'll have to see what happens going into the next few games but before the World Cup. But we need a win on the board soon or else it's, you know, th this season is going to be scrappy. I think the season is going to be scrappy anyway. But a win would really help that. Cheers, lads. So, uh, Brentford won, Wolves won. And going into today's game, I thought we'd lose. I really did. I think you can't argue with the team lineup. I think it's best with what was available. Um, yeah, like, we're so <laughs> short on injuries and haven't got too many options, have we? So, I think Steve Davis has always made the right decision, to be fair to him, in terms of team lineups. But... I think you've got to start uh, looking at the players. After losing 4-0 to Leicester, I feared the worst today. I thought we'd lose. And first half, not really much happened. I think Brentford were definitely there for the taking. We did defended quite well. We kept Tony quiet. You know, I, thought I was a bit worried about him today. We, we kept their front line quiet, really. We had that chance for Pedence where he did the little dummy, then snatched it at his left foot. It just He's not a finisher, is he, Pedence? I know he's got a couple of goals for us this season, but... That's not his strength, is it, a, a finish like that? Costa was putting himself about, um, which we're going to get onto in a minute. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah, going in nil nil at half time, my thoughts were we can win this. We can, um, we can go out and get the second half. The, the referee, is it Bobby Madley? Awful. Obviously, Samedo got booked straight away. Pedence got booked, which I thought was a bit harsh, but Pedence annoys me and he must annoy referees because the bloke does play axe, jumps down the floor. He, he's doing my head in Pedence. I love him. I love him. He could be really good when he wants to be, but when he's play acting and being a little idiot, I'm just like, mate, stop it. Well, he got himself booked. It weren't a booking, but Bobby Madley, who had a bad game, probably thought, sod it, I'm booking the little twat. But anyway... Ben Me, who, according to the commentary, hadn't scored for five years. Bicycle kicks one in, and I'm just like, Phew. that's it. Wolves, when they go 1-0 down, on the evidence we got this season, crumble and don't respond. But what happened? We responded straight away. Great layoff by Samedo. Uh, Neves gives Babacar Troyore the shout, pings it bottom corner, and it's lucky we've got Neves, because if we didn't, Jesus Christ, I don't know what we'd do, but a great goal. Gets us straight back into the game. Gets rid of those bloody worries of us going 1-0 down and crumbling. And then I was hoping we would go on and win the game. We created enough chances, really. Costa put himself about a bit. He um, he was trying. He had a few like half chances, but no clear-cut ones. Pedence was frustrating me all afternoon. He didn't do much. We eventually brought like, Guedes on. And uh, Martino obviously had to come on for Matthias Nunes when he got injured. But it was a very tight game, really. But it's annoying because Brentford were there for the taking. They really were. They weren't at it today. And I think we, sh we should have got the three points. But the, the big talking point at the end is Diego Costa. He's just... We knew what we were getting when we got him. He's got a really bad disciplinary record. And with VAR now in the Premier League, obviously it wasn't there when he last played in it. All Wolves fans spoke about this. And he's tussling with Ben Mee on the edge of the box. Drops the nut on him. That's just his character, in it? He's just... It's who he is. He gets a red card. It is a red card. He throws his fucking head into him. So, that's him missing now until the World Cup. <laughs> I think he misses three games. So, is that him done now until we come back from the World Cup? 
Cheers, cheers, Costa, son. You know what I mean? I hope you're 100 grand a week, whatever you're getting paid uh, is nice for you. I hope you get fined for that, by the way. Just disgrace. Just letting your teammates down. Who are we going to rely on now? Is Wang going to be up front? I don't know. But two points dropped for me today. Two points dropped. Brentford, I know they're in mid-table, but we're a better team than them with the players we've got. And yeah, disappointing afternoon, but at least we haven't lost. I think that's the only positive. We haven't lost today, but still very underwhelming. We've got to beat Brighton now because I don't think we'll get anything against Arsenal, I'll be honest. Still not looking good. Still not looking good. Totti being injured. Stop the chance of us playing five at the back. I would have played five at the back if we could. I know Yerson is an experience, but it's not looking good, Brev, as they say. It's not looking good. <laughs> God, it's just so depressing. I'm trying to be positive, but it's not. Positive thing is we didn't lose and we didn't ship four goals again. They're the positives. My life, what is it like being a Wolves fan? Are we going to survive? I don't think so right now. I think we're going down, but let's hope we get a manager in. No criticism for Steve Davis. I think he's doing the best job he can do considering the circumstances. And yeah, not good, lads. Not good. So there we have it. Um, full time Brentford 1 Wolves 1 um, definitely a much better performance than what we've seen in recent weeks um, the squad pretty much the same lineup as um, the defeat to Leicester but it was good to see the likes of Semedo come in who was obviously always going to come in with um, Johnny having a bad game against Leicester um, he got booked early on within like a couple of seconds so um it was interesting to see how he was going to last the whole game and I, the main thing was not to get sent off which i thought he played well um the other big change was bubakar Traore coming in for joe Jean Martinho. and again i thought um, i thought he did well and um, broke up the play did what he is required to it, it reminds me a lot of um tongo dumbia who we had a few years back um Obviously, he's not going to set the world on fire with the way he plays, but I think he definitely makes an improvement in that midfield. Um, obviously, the first half as well, we had to make an early change with Matthias Nunez going off for a shoulder injury, which wasn't ideal, but he still doesn't look fit to me. And um, playing in that number 10 role doesn't quite suit him. Um, Adama, again, I thought I had a... Pretty good game on the on the wing with his pace and his power, but he just needs to add more goals to his game. Um, the first half was a bit scrappy. Both teams didn't really have that much in terms of shots, really. Um, maybe De Silva for them, whizzed one past the post with um, Jose Sar rooted to the spot. Uh, our best chance was who was it? Podence when he he couldn't really get much power behind it. But yeah, they came up for the second half and when we went 1-0 down, it was a bit of, oh, here we go again. How are we going to react? And um, luckily for us, we reacted well. And um, Neves popped up with a good strike, as we know we can. Another goal from outside the box, which is what you want off Ruben Neves. And um, it was at the same end as pretty much he scored the same type of goal last season. Um, a great little cutback from Adama. Um, passed it to Semedo and he just laid it across the box definitely a shout to get Bubakar try away to move out of the way and uh, there we go never swerved into the bottom into the corner um, but yeah towards the end it, the game was like a championship game it was end to end and either team could have won it really but it's a shame we didn't win it but it's also important we didn't lose after that Leicester defeat the other day um, obviously a tough game against Brighton coming up next week, which they've just beaten Chelsea 4-1 today. So it's going to be a different game, but a tough game. Um, obviously, with Diego Costa getting sent off, who are we going to play up front? Are we going to go Guedes through the middle, Huang through the middle? It remains to be seen, but um, I think Costa is a bit silly for what he did. It was it was a 50-50 when it with Ben Mee, what they, what they was doing, but with VAR... It's obviously going to go to VAR. They've sold the cost ahead, but and that's a red card, and he'll now miss the next three games, which we could have done without. But yeah, at least we didn't lose, and a better performance than the Leicester game. 
Cheers for having me on the channel, lads. On to Brighton.